So while practicing Gandhi's flip-flop, I suggest starting with two-thirds of the deck at most, if you're doing it with one hand. So Gandhi's flip-flop is essentially just a repetition of the same motion four times. I'll walk you through the first and the second, and the third and the fourth should naturally follow. So to begin, you want to start by doing the Charlier cut all the way up to this position here. Once you're here, you're going to readjust the position of your fingers by first shifting your index to the long edge over here. Once your index is here, you should be able to clip onto this packet by pushing inwards. And using this force, you should hold this packet in place while your middle finger shifts to the bottom short edge over here. And at the same time, you want to use your thumb to push this packet downwards until it lands on top of your ring and pinky, like so. Once this packet is here, you want to place your thumb on top of this packet and push this top packet downwards onto your thumb like so. So you'll be pushing with your index here. Once you're here, your thumb should be between the two packets. And so what you want to do is slide your thumb to the left like so. This should allow this packet to fall into your palm and at the same time you want to sh uh, slide a single card outwards to the left like so. Then, once you're here, you want to use your ring and pinky to push this packet on top so that it falls face up on the center packet. Okay, so that's the first repetition. And we're going to move into the second repetition. And the only difference is that instead of working with a packet, you're working with a single card this time around. So what you're going to do is very similar. You're going to readjust your finger positions by first moving your pinky to the bottom your index to the long edge here, and then your middle to the short edge here. And while all this is happening at the same time, you want to use your thumb to push the single card downwards so that it lands on top of your ring and pinky just like before. Once you're here, basically the same motions, you're gonna use your index to push this packet on top of your thumb so your thumb is between this packet and the single card. Then you want to slide your left thumb, uh, your thumb to the left, like so, just like before. And this should allow this packet to fall onto your palm while sliding a single card to the left at the same time. Okay. Then you want to push this single card onto this packet here by pushing inwards with your ring and pinky. So that completes the second repetition. And the third and fourth are basically more of the same. So Readjust your finger positions, pinky to the bottom, index to the long edge, middle to the short edge, and at the same time, push downwards with your thumb here, allowing this card to fall on the ring and pinky. Then, use your index to push this whole packet on top of your thumb, and then slide your thumb to the left, sliding out one card, allowing this packet to fall onto your palm then push the single card on top of this packet with your ring and pinky and that completes the third repetition and now we're heading into the final repetition shift your finger positions once again pinky to the bottom short bottom edge here index to the long edge over here and middle to the short edge down here and at the same time push downwards with your thumb to allow this card to land on your ring and pinky like so then push this packet on, on top of your thumb with the index. Then slide your thumb outwards to the left, allowing this packet to fall in your palm, while at the same time sliding a single card outwards. Then finally, you just want to push the single card onto the packet with your ring and pinky, and push this single card on top of this packet with your thumb, like so. And that completes the move.